Here's Dan Roberts. Dan's a pro-gun campaigner. Dan, I understand and I uh, respect that, but would being a pro-gun campaigner include being a pro-3D gun campaigner? Well, I, I, at, the, at the core of this issue, it's actually much more a First Amendment issue than it is a Second Amendment issue. Uh, the Supreme Court has, has decided previously that computer code is speech, and as such, uh, the First Amendment is very broad in what you can say. So the thing is, I just okay. asked you a straight question, my friend. Um, does being pro-gun mean that you're pro these being printed off in any home, in any office, in any factory around the U.S.? Sure, why not? People have been able to legally sure. make their own guns for decades already. Without a license, without any checks, without any yeah, idea? That's correct. And, and, That's and so, correct. And so do, do you see a danger with this? I mean, if you're a man and, you know, you understand your weapons, you appreciate your weapons, but, you know, these are going to be in the hands of, of people who, let's not put too fine a term on it, will be nutcases. And they'll have a grudge against a brother, a sister, a parent, a school teacher, an employer, and they can get their hands on this, and this could kill. Well, again, I mean, we have a very a longstanding tradition in this country that we don't restrict rights based on what someone might do uh, and to abuse that right. Uh, again, you know, you've been able to legally manufacture firearms at home for your own use for decades upon decades. I can go to the hardware store right now and for less than $50 yeah. uh, buy but I five there items and make a shotgun. there were supposed to be restrictions, Dan. I thought the whole point was there were supposed to be things in place that made it difficult to buy guns. Serial numbers, at the very least, meant that it was traceable. Mental health checks. Uh, there are all sorts of security systems put in place that can pick up metal guns if people but are no, taken But now, you place. see, the problem okay. is your problem becomes our problem now because this is going to go international. OK, it already has gone international. Back in 2013, when Cody Wilson first debuted this, the files were downloaded over 100,000 times worldwide before the Obama administration was able to do anything about it. They've also been downloaded repeatedly since last Friday when the uh, settlement announcement was... The, the, the cat's out of the bag. They're out there. And it's not going to take anything for somebody to copy them and, and uh, distribute them whether, regardless of this uh, injunction by the federal judge. But on the, the question about the security matter, uh, that's absolutely ridiculous. The Undetectable Firearms Act was made federal law in 1988. That was 30 years ago. There are There is so much metal, even in these printed plastic guns. Well, I don't there see is any no... metal in this well, one. we haven't got... We've got... We well, have, we... OK, are the, the bullets are metal, right? Well, oh, okay. no, 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 fair point. The, the bullets, forgot that little bit. We're Live just not bullets. used to this. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So this is this is neutralised, I mean, what we've got here. Yeah, we haven't put some critical bits into it when we, we made could've. this one up. We to could've. make it safe, we could have done. We were just being responsible yeah. in a studio right. and making sure... Well, we let's go it. to Brighton now. So, Dan, we've got, to, we've got to break off from you. We're going to go to Brighton. Peter Squires from the Gun Control Network. And, Peter, you heard uh, Dan Roberts there in Carolina. He's saying, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that the, the, the firearms that you can make are utterly indiscriminate. They can go anywhere, they can travel by fibre optic cables and people can produce them in their, own, in their own homes. The technology is getting better. You in the studio have a plastic version of a gun, but metal 3D printing using stronger alloys is, is now available. It's very expensive, but it's the shape of things to come. But we are comparing... Uh, chalk and cheese here. We're talking about American, an American culture in which these have been invented. Are you where right? The right, oh, you're right. To, and I just want to make it clear prevails. in case we haven't before you continue that in a statement the Home Office has said that the UK has some of the toughest gun laws in the world. There is no evidence that 3D printed guns are in widespread circulation but the government yes. is reviewing existing yes. firearms. Exactly. But the worry is that once it is a blueprint, admittedly it's been paused at the moment in the US, this process, and so they're saying we're not releasing the blueprints as yet. But if it comes to pass, as Dan would like, that blueprints are available on the internet to download, you can't help but think that it will become available, as so many things do from the US, for us to get here in the UK from the internet. That's absolutely right. I think the Home Office are correct that this is not a problem yet, uh, but it's clearly a, a potential technology that blows a hole through our own gun control protections. There is no way once that software is out there, 
and in a way it already is out there, there is no way of preventing people from building the guns that this, this, uh, digi these digital files allow. So it, it becomes indiscriminate. We, we can't yeah. control against it. Yeah. Uh, so America is not doing the, the world bottle, a favour by allowing this. Yeah, so what do you we do? You, well, it's, it's inevitability, isn't it? It's, it's inevitable because once the genie's out of the bottle, you can't put it back in again, can you? Well, the, the, the problem, as, you, as you've already suggested, is, is that there are some metal components. Uh, the, the firing pin has to be metal. Uh, and obviously, if you build the gun, you've still got to access the ammunition. But there are people in this country that supply ammunition to criminals. I've, I've been to conferences where the police have talked about this. So it, it's not so difficult. Once this, once this 3D technology is out there, and once it gets more sophisticated, yeah. then we are talking about organised crime being able to print their own guns and use them.